Hey guys, page 41, and it's time for you to play by ear again. Remember, this is something that gets easier and easier to do. When you're listening to the song, you always want to remember that if it doesn't fit, you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> so make sure that you remember a couple of things. First of all, we're in the key of G major. The F sharp in the key signature at the beginning of each line tells us that we're in the key of G. That means that we're going to end and begin on G major. Then you got to remember, what eighth grade girl click does this G major chord belong to? You can figure that out by going back in the book and looking at some of the other songs that are in G major. And if you look in the book, they'll have that little uh, blank space about where the chord should change. Make sure that you are experimenting with some of these chords. And if you read the words on the page, they may give you some clues. Now, um, if you haven't heard this song, it is really tricky to play um, to, to play the and to imagine what kind of chords will go with it if you don't know it. So the song for today is Home on the Range. Now, believe it or not, this is considered to be one of the most beautifully written melodies ever. So there's that. So um, I will sing it for you. Um, I'm just going to play the G at the beginning to give me the correct pitch and to allow for you to be able to play along with my singing and figure out what those chords would be. All right, we are in 3-4 um, time. And when we're trying to figure out things like um, which chords we should use and doing it by ear, let's not make it hard. Just do one strum on every beat. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. If you remember back a couple of years, we did um, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, so it's very hard for me to sing this song without singing the parts about pencils. Give me that pencil. Uh, well, good luck. Hopefully you figured out what those chords are.